Okay, guys, this is totally unplanned. Um, this was due to feedback that I'm getting from many of you here. This is what workshops are about. We work with you guys, you give me feedback, and I custom do things. I do things on the fly because of that. This is called Get a Business Model or Die. Learn how to survive making money online. Some of you may have seen this, but you should watch it every day, in my opinion. It'll keep you on track and keep you focused with what I'm going to be telling you. 95% of people who come online to make money fail. Totally fail. They spend thousands upon thousands of dollars and go, okay, I'm going back to my job. Screw this. Not doing it. <clears throat> and the reason why they do this is because they've been sold the dream of a two-second work week. Um, a guy came out with the four-hour work week book, and ever since then, they've tried to cut it further and further and further and further down. <laughs> and now I believe the next edition is going to be the two-second work, work week. Many of you have shiny things syndrome. I have shiny things syndrome. But the difference there um, is I got over it long enough to become successful. And now I just fight it and keep it back. But still, I go after the shiny things here and there. And you headless chicken freaks. In the South, we have a, a term, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. You guys have no idea what's going on. You're just running around and, oh my gosh, I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I gotta do this and I gotta do that. And I'm gonna, oh man, I just went to Jeff and Liz's thing and now I've gotta incorporate all that. No. No, 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 no. You learn, you only take what's useful to your business and apply it to your business. I want everyone to write this down and I want you to remember this. The way to make money online is to find one proven system, implement it, focus only on it, and devote time to make it work for you. I'm going to read that again. And if you don't get this, you're screwed from the get-go. The way to make money online is to find one, one, one proven system. Implement that one proven system, focus only on it, and devote time to make it work for you. That does not mean to go, okay, this is what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to devote time to it today. And then tomorrow, oh, this is what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to devote time to it today. It's what you do every single day. It's your job. Just because you're not walking into a corporate office or to a fast food restaurant or a regular restaurant and doing your job, does not mean that just because you're making your money online doesn't mean it's not a job. It is a job. I work every single day. Every single day. I'm finally not working weekends now after five years of doing this stuff. There's three main types of business models. You have content marketing, affiliate marketing, and product marketing. A content marketer is someone who creates content and monetizes that content. Some examples of this are AdSense blogs. Content marketers will create blogs, they'll create the content that goes on it, and they make money from AdSense ads on it. Same thing, advertising. You're just selling advertising instead of putting AdSense ads on your thing. Creating sites to sell is a good content marketing business model. And freelancing. If you're currently not making any money and you have some skills, you can use those skills to make money. Everybody that I've talked to here says, you know, I don't know how to outsource it, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, you know, I don't have the money to outsource. And then we've got the people that go, well, I can just do it myself. How about you guys that want to outsource Go find these people that want to be paid for their skills and you guys connect together. Just because you're just doing the freelancing stuff right now doesn't mean that once you start making some money and getting that money built up, you can put it into a different business idea you have. Let me give you an example. I have a lady in one of my coaching programs, flat broke, mom of like, I don't know, I think there's like 12 kids, single mom 
of 12 kids. Two of them are in college. She's paying for all this. You know how? Just by doing freelancing. She came to me and she said, Liz, what am I going to do? I've spent all this money online and da 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 da. And I said, well, can you create articles? Well, yeah. So can you set up blogs? Yep. Can you do videos? Yep. And I said, and you just don't know how to put all that together, right? Right. I said, okay, this is what you do. You go and sell your services to other people, start taking at least 30% of that money and start putting it into your real business idea. You can do things to fund your business ideas as long as you can stay focused on one thing. An affiliate marketer is someone who finds products or services, creates promotional models to advertise those products and services, and then drives traffic to those promotional models. Here's a diagram. All my little people always have red hair. <laughs> kind of partial to redheads. Okay? Or they're bald like Jeff. <clears throat> so is what you do is you go find stuff you like, build a website for the stuff you like, and then you go find the people to drive to your website for the stuff you like. Throw your affiliate link on there. That's essentially everything affiliate marketing is right there. That's where it all starts. You have to find what you like. You create a promotional model for what you like and you drive traffic to that promotional model. That could be an opt-in page. That could be a blog. It could be a mini site. It could be a squidoo lens. It could be a hub page. All those things are affiliate marketing promotional models. Review sites, blogs, pre-sale pages, and squeeze pages. Those are some examples of affiliate marketing promotional models. We've covered a lot of that this weekend, so I'm not going to go into that in detail. Now, once you have your affiliate marketing promotional model set up, that's when you go learn about traffic. You cannot learn about traffic until you have something to drive traffic to. That's asinine. Same thing as having something and not knowing how to drive traffic to it and going, well, how do I drive traffic? You guys can't go to Google and go, how to drive traffic. And you'll get a bajillion things you can do. Pick a couple of those and implement them. So you see here, I have article writing, squidoo lenses, easy in advertising, blah, 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 blah. That's up there again for something. A product marketer is someone who creates their own products and services to sell and then promotes them with different marketing methods. My main business, I am a product marketer. I create my own products, I put them online, and the way I sell them is by creating an affiliate sales force. Does everybody understand that? How do I do that? You go to these people, ask them what they want, create what they want, and drive traffic so they can get to what you've created. Is that pretty simple? Looks like my seven-year-old created that, isn't it? He didn't. Not this time. <laughs> um, the way you can sell your own products, of course, through squeeze pages, building your own mini sites, um, affiliate programs. I'm telling you what, affiliate program marketing is my bread and butter. If it wasn't for my affiliates, I wouldn't be right here. Content sites. Um, John Reese teaches, um, I forget what he calls it, but it's, I call it the throw the crap against the wall method. Take a whole bunch of websites that you create all over the internet. Throw them all out there. See what sticks. What sticks is what you keep using. So content sites um, is what I did with my first product was I had people creating tons of content on um, doing joint ventures. It was for my joint venture seeker product. Had people creating tons of sites and we had them all over the place and they got you know, some traffic from here and here and here. And I did that by going into my stats and seeing where the traffic was coming from. But we made this huge content campaign, threw it all up just to see what would stick. You can use blogs to promote your products, pre-sell pages, review sites. Let me give you guys a little uh, demonstration of pre-sell pages. It's 
in my hand. <laughs> pre-sale pages. The whole function of a pre-sale page is to what? Pre-sale. Pre so what I do on my pre-sale pages is I have a little video, and it's me talking about the topic. And then is what I do is I come down here and go, and I've got a special offer for you. If you'd like to know more about this topic, buy through this link, and I'll give you this, 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 and this. Tell them what they need, what, what to expect. Talk them into already buying. So when they hit this link, they go, oh, yeah, I'm going to get all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go buy that right now. Most of the time, they won't even read the sales letter. They'll scroll down, scroll down hit the buy button. They got it. Um, let me go back and see. Review sites. Um, there's lots of different models of review sites. The standard one I use is one that will have... Two to three, or I'm sorry, three to five different products on it. My product's always at the top with a five-star rating, of course. And then I'll have other products, four-star rating, three-star rating. This will, of course, be my affiliate link, and this will be the direct link to my site. Most of the time, they're going to buy this product. But just in case they buy this, I'm still going to get paid. Great review site model. Now, is what you need to do is learn how all of this works and decide which business model is going to work for you. You can just go online, spend an hour on content marketing, spend an hour on affiliate marketing, spend an hour on product marketing, and then step back and go, okay, what's right for me? Do I want to be a freelancer? Do I want to create content and sell it? Do I want to create websites and sell them? Um, okay, so that's content marketing. There's my options there. Affiliate marketing. Now, what niche do I want to go in? Um, what products could I promote? What promotional models could I use? What traffic, tra traffic tactics could I use? Does anything interest you there? No, not really. Product marketer. What niche could I be in? How could I reach these people to ask them what they want me to create? then how could I drive traffic once my product's done? You've got to decide from those three business models. So we got business model one, two, and three. And there's tons of business models in each thing. And you've got to pick one. Not all of them. One. I cannot stress one enough to you guys. You cannot go home with a notebook full of, well, i got to do this site and this site and this site and this site. Guess what? I have a notebook just like you guys. And is what I do is I take everything I want to work on and I put it in that notebook. So it's still with me. I haven't gone, oh, forget that. I'm not going to do that. It's still with me, and I'm going to get to it. But I do one project at a time. I've been doing this for five, six years now, and it's a battle I fight every day. But it's a battle I win every day, and that's what's made me successful. If you want to survive learning how to make money online, this is what you've got to do. Now, I'm not going to go into this. This is a, a pitch um, for a, a coaching program, but I wanted to go through the first part of this so that you guys really got the point. One business model. Are you going to be a content marketer? Are you going to be an affiliate marketer? Or are you going to be a product marketer? And my challenge to everyone in this room is before you leave here today, do not leave here today without going, I am a blank. All right, guys, that's it for Get a Business Model or Die.